Parts of the coastline in St. John's and Flagler counties now look dramatically different due to the nor'easter this past weekend. In some places, there's now far less sand on the beach, leaving homeowners there worried. Sky 4 flew over the coast this, this afternoon, actually. This, this video gives you some perspective on the erosion. Wow, look at that. There's a shelf of sand, and then the beach just drops right off. Some homes now dangerously close to the ocean. And here's another perspective on the damage from the ground. St. Charles County emergency management officials will be looking at this damage along all 42 miles of their coastline. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell shows us more of the damage and talks with a man who says he lost everything in the storm. As wind and rain pounded St. Augustine this weekend, Casey Keenel says his sailboat got loose and crashed into the seawall near the Bridge of Lyons, where it remains today. I bought this boat roughly 10 days ago. But to him, it was more than a boat. It was his home. It seemed like an affordable opportunity to anchor the boat, take care of my father, take care of myself, and also at the same time put money into my startup that I've been working on for several years. The boat now sits waterlogged. What I thought was going to be my savior just is a nightmare now. He says he's trying to raise thousands of dollars on GoFundMe to get the boat removed. I'm ruined over this disaster. Further up the coast, video from Sky 4 shows beaches nearly non-existent at high tide Monday. Here at Volano Beach, really rough surf is pushing right up to people's front doors on their man-made seawalls. This barrier right here is all misshapen. And then at the house, you can see wires are exposed, pipes are exposed, a lot of erosion at the base. Sand replenishment efforts continued at South Ponte Vedra Beach Monday. One person we spoke with says dozens of feet of sand are gone by her home in the northern part of Ponte Vedra Beach. It takes months and months for it to read build and then one nor'easter. She says she's concerned about more than just her property. To watch all of that wash away, it's going to be devastating to the whole community. In St. John's County and Maxwell, Channel 4, the local station.